giveaway time. Guys, I've just reached 10,000 subscribers. And to say thank you, I'm going to be giving away this gold diamond pronged link chain from Sanucci. So make sure you watch the full video so you don't miss out on what you have to do. But anyway, guys, some of you have been sending me over your fit and drip over on my Instagram, BTS Clovia. So like I promised, I'm going to be reviewing them. Okay, so we've got the first one here. I'm not going to be naming the names. And I'm not going to lie, this is not looking good so far, bruv. I mean, they're quite cool Air Force Ones, actually. I've never actually seen someone wear those colorways. If they're custom, then fair play. They're actually really nice. But those Nike joggers are looking a bit too tight. And I'm also not a fan of the club fleece joggers, which I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And bro, I understand that it was probably on sale, but that is probably the deadest tech. Like, if you're going to get a Nike tech and you get that... Bro, I'd rather just get the £20 club fleece. Or oh, actually, it probably isn't £20 anymore, but back in the day it used to be. Bro, that ain't it. Honestly, that colour ain't it. I know this is a bit late because this video is coming out on Saturday. But right now when I'm filming this, I'm in Black Friday week. I've just been to a Nike outlet and I'll put the picture on screen. I've got the picture for you guys especially. The new tech fleece is already on offer in outlets. This, I think this just shows that not many people are buying it. But yeah, if you want to get some good price Black Friday stuff, guys, make sure to head over to your outlets. And if you're a student... You can also get discounts on the already discounted items. So you could be getting the new tech fleece for £50 a piece. Also, sorry, I'm going off a bit here. I also found the old tech fleece there. Not the old season, but the, the one from the previous season's tech fleece. It was there and it was on offer. It was the navy blue colorway. Quite a highly liked colorway. To be specific, this is the Portsmouth Gunwolf Keys outlet. Get down to an outlet, guys. Portsmouth Gunwolf Keys have some discounts. It's some, it's all right sometimes. Bit hit or miss. I imagine that's the same with all outlets. But yeah, bro, rating out of 10, I say six is average. 10 it would obviously be the best and zero would be terrible. Bro, I'm not going to cap. This is probably a three out of 10. This fit really ain't it, bro. And what is that pose that you're doing? Very dodgy camera as well. This is a, this is a definite three. Not dodgy camera, camera angle. Bro, I can literally see the demons underneath your sofa. Next up, we've got a guy who sent in two pictures. I'll review the first one, which is a Nike tech fleece, a Cortese hat, and it looks to be black Air Force Ones. Bro looks happy about the drip as well. You can tell the little the little faint smile on his face. To be fair, this is styled a lot better than the previous guy. Although I don't know what's going on with the hood there, mate. Hoodie looks a little bit too big, but the joggers look the correct size for you, I'm pretty sure. And that Cortese beanie's pretty cold. Those sorts of beanies, like I really want to get one of the Arcturix ones. Don't know why he's got a yellow t-shirt on underneath though. I'm pretty sure that's yellow. Like that just ruins it, mate. Just get a white or a black t-shirt on to match with the black socks and the black forces. Overall, I think I'm going to go with a seven. This would be a six, which is average, but because of the hat, I've got to elevate it to a seven. Then he sent me in another picture where he's got a Canada goose on. I'm not going to lie, bro. The, the bottom, the Nike Tech bottoms looking kind of baggy. In fact, all he's done is put the Canada goose on. You look pretty young in this. I don't know how you're affording that. But fair play. It, it does look cold. It would have been cool to see a cheeky smile underneath the purple scribbled out face. But yeah, that Canada goose coat is cold. I'm going to give that a 7.5. It would be an eight, but bro, actually the joggers look a bit too big for you. They look way too baggy. Okay, now it looks like we've got another Nike Tech fleece fit. Now, straight off the bat, I can already tell that this is not a real tech fleece, but we won't get into that. Like, if I wouldn't be able to tell it's fake, then yeah, it'd be good to a certain extent. But the fact that I can instantly tell that it's fake, yeah. The hoodie might be real, but I know those bottoms aren't real. And then, yeah, just a basic Nike t-shirt, and I assume you'd wear white socks with the white shoes. I don't actually know what shoes that... Are they Adidas Oswegos? But it looks like they've got a Nike t... I, I honestly have no idea what those shoes are. If they are Adidas, I'd say you can't really mix them. I'm not going to fact that in, actually. Or oh, hold up, has broke got the, the black... Black Nike socks. They blend in so much with the tracksuit. I'm going to give this a 4.5, just because I know that the tech isn't real. <laughs> if it is real, then I'd probably go 6, 6.5, something like that. I know I've said it before that I don't really care if anything's fake, but for something like the Nike Tech Fleece, the, the quality on it is amazing, and I feel like with a fake, you wouldn't get that quality. So for me, you'd have to go, as, as expensive as it is, like if you can't afford it, then don't go for it. Like the Nike Tech Fleece, especially, I, I, I maybe with a can of the goose, I would... But with the tech fleece, it's like, if you work on a minimum wage 9 to 5, you can afford it pretty easily. Obviously, you've got to pay the other bills, but it's a more obtainable piece than, say, an £1,000 one-piece coat. So here we go. This is looking like a better outfit. This is a cold outfit, bro. I'm not even usually into rings, but the the colour coordination is looking looking good. And also the setting. The, the, just everything about this picture is actually way better than all the others so far. In some bougie-ass shop or where... I mean, if that's your housemate, Jesus! Looking in a bougie setting. Like jeans or cargoes or something you've got on? The white force is looking clean. They look brand new, actually. Bro's got the Air Max jumper on, cold. Got a nice little chain. Got the gilet on. Not sure what gilet that is. It's got a bit of a fire trim. <laughs> well, either the sort of same. I need it, bro. Look at look at this facial hair and look at this. I, it needs to be sorted out. There aren't too many drippy pieces in it, but the whole fit, the way this guy's pulled it off, is really good. So for that, I'm going for 8.5. Okay, so now we've got this picture of this 
full black other than the white socks outfit. Not gonna lie, the setting he's in is a bit weird. Bro, if you're gonna get a picture posing like that, that is not the setting for it. Next to some fire door and it looks like a gym. But bro's got the Crocs on, you know, with the customization. Got the white socks on. I kind of rate the, that that bit. But the shorts, bro, they look like they look like trousers for kids. What is that? That is going so long. Bro's got the hat on. I mean. He, he styled it pretty well. I don't know. The shorts, though. Come on. What is that? Good pose as well. He's not looking like an idiot. Nah, just for the shorts, mate. I think I'm going to have to rate this. I think this is going to be a six. I think this is the first average one. Proper average one. If Bro had some Corti shorts on that weren't over literally at his ankles, then maybe it would be a seven. But yeah, that ain't running. <laughs> Guys, I will talk later, but thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. And if you aren't subscribed, then subscribe. But guys, I'm going to be giving away this Sanucci chain. All you have to do to enter, guys, is enter your Instagram username, comment something funny or nice alongside your Instagram username, and you will be entered. Make me laugh, guys. The rules are up on screen right now, as well as the ending date. I'll talk more about it later. Okay, guys, so now we've got this fit where he's got the new blue Nike tech fleece. Hoodie looks real clean on him, maybe a little bit too big on the arms, which is something actually I did mention in my new season tech fleece review video. The arms come out pretty baggy. And the bottoms, bro, I don't know how they look that baggy on you but they're so skin tight this season really need to size down two i'd say maybe size down on the hoodie once i don't know if you've got big feet or not but they are some clown shoes bro bro how many centimeters is that they look crazy everything looks so big on you like, it literally looks like you've stolen it off your older brother but yeah it is a nice color tech fleece and I, I think they look like blue toed jordan ones color coordination is really nice i'd probably just because of the way it fits on you bro actually the hat's also nice but just the way it fits on you bro i'd probably give this a 5.5 now we've got this fit without a doubt this is the best fit of the whole uh, every single outfit bro that is actually a fire i'm not even joking that is actually a fire dortmund shirt like i want sancho on the back of that shirt like i genuinely if anyone can get me that shirt you're a legend. Honestly, the nicest Dortmund shirt, but bro, oh, bro had to go ruin it with the Hoodrich shorts. The kids' extra large Hoodrich shorts, it looks like. Nah, and the goggles. Nah, but I'm I'm guessing that's five aside by the look of the net. Imagine pulling up to your five aside game looking like that. That is glass. The Puma boots looking fire with the long black socks. But a genuinely fire fit. Like, I'm not even having a laugh for football. Bro, if you sit and walk on the street like that, then you're finished. But generally, for football, what he's doing, that is actually fire. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's like a 7.5 out of 10. Come with the Rashford celebration as well. Oh, hell. Trim kind of looks on fleek as well. 100% a 7.5. Guys, I know some of you won't be interested, but you've literally elevated my life. 10,000 subscribers is a huge deal to me. Like, I honestly can't thank you enough. I didn't record myself, but I was watching the live count on the day that it happened. In my 10-year life on YouTube, I've gone through a lot of shit. And in less than one year on this channel, you guys have turned my dreams into reality. A dream of getting 1,000 subscribers. A dream of getting my first paycheck from YouTube. It's all happened so quickly, much quicker than I could ever ever imagined and I've exceeded those dreams by a mile thanks to you guys. I'm very aware about how the algorithm works on YouTube guys so the reason why I've never made a heartfelt video like a dedicated heartfelt video is well no one really cares <laughs> no one would watch it so if you are watching this right now thank you so much. I literally look at everything on this channel. I look at every comment, every like, every subscriber, everything. I'm always watching what's going on in this channel, even though I probably come across as a bit of a robot sometimes in my responses. Or just the way I run this channel, I'll try and moderate it quite professionally. But yeah, all I can ask guys is just keep supporting me. Keep supporting me through however many subscribers we hit. And you loyal fans really don't go unnoticed, honestly. I'll put some screenshots on screen right now of these legends that never go unnoticed. Every one of you watching this right now, just please keep supporting me. And and I will always try and provide better and better content. I feel like I always try and do that. Provide better and better content every week. I hope. <laughs> Guys, I talked a bit about the tech fleece earlier. If you want to watch my review, then it's on screen now. And here is also one of my favorite videos that I've made. Thank you guys so much for this. You guys are absolute legends.